Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and to today's video. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I broke my no buy and we are gonna chat about that in this video. So let me tell you what I did. I bought an eyeshadow palette. I bought this little um, Cat Girl Chronicles palette from Rude Cosmetics. I saw the outer packaging and this is, well, it's the same on the back as it is on the sleeve. This color story and I really, really liked it and I was like, June's almost over and I was out with Dee and I was just like, oh, I really wanna stop at TJ Maxx just to see what they have and here we are. So I bought this and so I thought I would put it on camera for you guys. Then I also purchased a couple of brushes from Zoeva and I am obsessed, obsessed. I used one for um, concealer and one for cream um, for my cream contour bronzer and I'm obsessed and I'm gonna go back and get more of these so if you guys want to see how I created this look and you want to hear what's going on in my life what I've been up to then please keep on watching okay you guys so as you noticed about the title of this video I have ended my no buy I was out with Delilah I had to take her to a doctor's appointment and we will talk about that uh, throughout the get ready with me but I had to take her to a doctor's appointment and we were coming back and and I was passing by TJ Maxx and I hadn't been into a TJ Maxx in a long time. And I was like, do you wanna to go to TJ Maxx with me? And the rest is history. So I did buy a couple of things at TJ Maxx. I bought two brushes and I bought an eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette that I bought is this Cat Girl Chronicles palette from uh, Rude Cosmetics. I love the color story on the back. Look at the color story on the back. Um, unfortunately, with Rude Cosmetics, you have to open it and you have to buy it because it's taped and everything. So they have actually have it taped. So this was not tampered with, so I went based on the color story on the back. I wasn't sure. I was hoping, I mean, look at all the depth that you got in here. I was hoping that it would look like that. And it, it wasn't as deep as I thought, which is unfortunate, but I really am excited. So this is the Cat Girl Chronicles. It's anime themed. Um, I'm not really into anime, but most K-pop people are and most, you know, Asians are. And it's an Asian thing. So um, obviously, you know how I am about the Asian culture and K-pop and everything. But this is what it looks like. And I actually am not mad about it. At first, I thought this was a press glitter when I first opened it, but it's not. So I love the shade selection in here. I just thought it was a really, really beautiful color story. And it super inspired me from the back cover of it, from the, the, the back, the, the outer uh, sleeve. And I was just like, oh, I have to get this. And I just was like, okay, well, June, we're getting into June. I was gonna break my no buy in July. I just thought, you know what? I was with Delilah and I wanted to do some things. And I just was like, let's stop at TJ Maxx. And here we are. So. I have one Rude Cosmetics palette other than this, and it's a 35 color palette, but I love the idea of this. It's 15 colors, way more manageable, and the color story is really, really beautiful. You've got some depth, you've got this beautiful teal, this navy. I wish this was a little bit darker. It's this like really good, cool tone grayish, like mauve shade I love. This, unfortunately, is a, is a um, matte infused with glitter. But I swatched it, I can use it as a matte. I'll be fine with that. No pressed glitters in here. Lovely limey green shade. I'm super excited. So I just, you know what? I just thought to myself, I, I really liked it when I saw it and um, I bought, I wanted to buy it. So I broke my no buy. And so the no buy is officially broken now. So I also bought, they had some brushes from Zoeva and some brushes from Japanesque there. I bought these brushes from Zoeva and I'm so excited. I'm gonna use one brush for cream um, bronzer contour and I'm gonna use the other one for um, highlight and then I'm gonna go and probably get two or three more of these. These were $3.99 each, they were from Zoeva. I, I opened this up immediately and I was like playing with it the whole way home. So I'm like driving and I'm like, ooh, every stop, every stop light, I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. and then I was like, okay, blush. And then I'm like, okay, I need to get more of these. I love this. I've been looking for more brushes, um, especially for my cream products. 
Um, not so much eye brushes. I really have my tried and true eye brushes, but I definitely want to get more makeup brushes going forward. So I decided to get these and along with this eyeshadow palette. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're just going to, I have my mirror right here. I've got my little, um, Costco mirror, you know, it's, it's, it's very clunky. Uh, I saw some good mirrors at TJ Maxx. I thought to myself, I said, oh, maybe I should get a mirror. Um, but I didn't. So I have that mirror. I have this mirror as well. So we'll just see, see how it goes. But anyway, so we're just going to start. So I'm going to start with my Wet n Wild um, Luminous and Dewy Foundation. I love this stuff. It's my favorite. Um, and I would told Delilah, we were at a doctor's appointment. I told Delilah, I said, Mom wants to stop at Walmart. I'm, Mom wants to get a new foundation. I don't need a new foundation yet. I really, really wanted a new foundation. But then the way we decided to drive home, we had to drive by a TJ Maxx. And I was just like, Delilah, do you want to go to TJ Maxx? And then the rest is history. So here we are. So yeah, so let's just start. I'm going to um, take the paddle applicator and dot this on my face. I washed and moisturized my face before I started. Um, I um, did a little bit of skin prep, put some moisturizer on. Um, so that's what we're working with. So I go a little heavy on the foundation. I don't have any problem with that. Less is more, more is less, whatever you want to say. Because um, I can always pull up the excess with my beauty blender. So what I like to do is I like to take this um, Wet n Wild um, foundation with the paddle and apply it. And then what I do after that is I take this um, e.l.f. foundation brush. It's one of those um, flat foundation brushes and I just smooth it around. So anyway, um, I'm not going to go into tons of detail about every little single thing that I use. Um, obviously, look how much foundation I put on my face. I mean, really that paddle applicator really disperses stuff quite well. So this is way too much foundation, but that's okay. I like a lot of coverage and it works for me. So um, I'm just going to take that and then I'm going to take my, now this is my e.l.f. Duo complexion brush The the and is busted and, and I don't even know where it is, but I love the foundation side. So I'm just going to blend that up. Okay, so Delilah and I were out today. Um, it is, I, I work for the federal government. I'm a postal employee, so I live in California. So we celebrate Juneteenth, which is the, I think, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, somebody correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, it's the day of emancipation of slavery. So they celebrate that in California as a federal holiday. So because I'm a federal employee, I get that off. So I'm off tonight. And, um, so I um, didn't have to go to work. Um, so let's let's start with what I was doing today and why I was out. Okay, so Delilah, my daughter, is 13. Um, she's 13 and a half. She has Down syndrome. And many of you have met Delilah on camera. Um, she's the light of my life. She's the center of my universe. And she's everything. Um, Let's just make sure that's blended in. Blend over the lips. I like to get that foundation because I powder around my mouth just so my lip liner and lipstick don't feather a lot. I figure, I think that's a good way to make sure that that stays put. So I did apply a lot of foundation and I used that brush, but I'm going to go over it with a sponge just to make sure that it's extra blended. So Delilah is out of school obviously because it's summer and um she's 13 and a half and has down syndrome and lately i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm super concerned um delilah is very um very thin and she's very um petite she's five foot eight um and she, not five foot eight, she's four foot eight and she weighs less than 70 pounds. Um, she is a very picky eater. And as some of you know, children with Down syndrome are very stubborn. 
not all, some, but mine is very stubborn. And um, she doesn't eat a lot. Um, and she's very picky about what she eats. Well, let me put it to you even more plainly. Um, she basically has not gone on any sort of hunger strike, but she does not want to eat anything. And when I say that, I mean it comes to meal times and she will eat, I'm gonna give you an example. So she, um, e.l.f. Um, concealer, this is the Camo Hydrating. I'm going to take that in the corner, really give a good, good dip in the corner. And I, you know what, I'm not, let's just go all in. I don't really care. Brushes, sponges, I'm extra with my makeup application. So I'm going to take one of those Ava brushes and I'm going to blend out my concealer. Okay, so far so good. Um, so Delilah is a picky eater by nature. Never was when she was a infant to two. So when, when she got to the terrible two, she stopped eating like a variety of foods. She got picky. Um, so she's always been picky and you hear her babbling in the background. If that's, if you hear babbling, that's Delilah in the background. She's watching her iPad. Um, so anyway, so Dee, um, she's always been a very picky eater since then, since she turned two. And um, because of that, um, I wouldn't say that I've just given myself extra liberty to just give her whatever I want, but I do want her to eat. So, we feed her the little bites muffins. You can get them at Costco. They come in a 20 pack. There's four muffins to a bag. So on an average time, Delilah will eat eight muffins for a meal, breakfast. She's been eating two muffins out of the eight and then she says she's full. <sighs> Listen, you guys, I know nutrition is important and trust me, believe me, I do um value nutrition and we have tried to give her fruits and vegetables um i really like this brush it's very dense so give yourself a good okay so i'm gonna put that to the side i'm gonna get my um i'm not gonna set my entire face i am going to set my under eyes in the center of my face because i am going to use my other brush for cream products so delilah um, let's just put it this way. Delilah is not eating very much and it's alarming to me. And we've been giving her Ensure for a long time because she's always been very, very slim. I mean, she's like ballerina slim. She's not anorexic, but I mean, sometimes people would look at her and think, are you feeding her? And I'm like, listen to me, I try. <laughs> I try, this is my Reserve Your Cabana powder. That's the powder I like to use under my eyes. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place. But anyway, so I only use that under my eyes. And then I have this um, Maybelline, nope, I'm gonna use Elf Halo Glow. I'm gonna use the Elf Halo Glow powder um, for this. Um, this is my Elf Halo Glow powder and I'm going to use it on the same brush that I use for my under eyes, but it's very loose and I'm not a fan of loose powder, but this powder is really, really beautiful. And I'm just gonna powder the center of my forehead, down my nose, into my pores, and on my chin. So anyway, Delilah is literally, uh, she's a waif. I mean, she's wafy, wafy, uh, so wafy that you would almost think that she was underfed, like that we were starving her. And she doesn't look that unhealthy, but she just doesn't like she just doesn't like a lot of foods, and she's just very thin. God bless her, because I I don't know where she got that from. She sure didn't get it from me, because I am a, I'm a size 16, 18, um, double XL, and I am not in any way wafy, nor have I ever been. But my child, oh my God. Anyway, I'm a big girl and she is a tiny, tiny, tiny little sprite of a thing, just a wisp of a thing. So her appetite 
went from significant and eating not such good food to eating almost no food um, in, the, in the span of the last probably seven to ten days. And I'm just like at my wit's end. I'm like, what is going on with you? Like, I, I can't do this. Like, I can't. Um, you have to eat. Uh, she doesn't even weigh 70 pounds. Like, she's like a 68 pound 13 year old girl. She looks so skinny. And my husband and I have just been alarmed. Like, we just, I don't even know anymore. Okay, so I'm taking that other brush. The other is a waiver brush. And I'm gonna take my OIS cream bronzing stick um, and I'm going to use this brush for that. And I'm gonna try that out. Okay, love it. I have this in medium, by the way. I did go darker when I bought it. I love this brush. Okay, totally getting more of these. Um, so anyway, D, um, just is not eating and I'm just like I'm like please dear, dear God somebody give me some sort of answer help I, I don't even know so I took her to the doctor and I was like what am I gonna do here because I have to get this child some nutrients and some food because she's just too thin and so we're gonna go for a lab test tomorrow and um, hopefully we'll get some answers but say some prayers you guys I know you love Delilah I love this brush. These Oever brushes, I'm so buying more of them. I, I've never blended this so easily in my entire life. And I don't even think I need to use the sponge because what I've been doing is I've been using the other brushes that I have and I've been putting it on with the brush and then I've been blending it out with the sponge because it's too much. I did buy the darker shade in both this. Um, I bought the medium in this and in the Makeup Revolution cream bronzer because I really like pigmented cheek products and I didn't want I'm not a I'm not a subtle girl when it comes to my makeup obviously look how much foundation I put on but anyway I, I love this brush this is a Zoeva brush I don't even know what this is called um color love maker the teardrop cover it's the teardrop cover. I got this at TJ Maxx $3.99 I got this brush for it um, highly recommend so there's that so anyway so we went and got um, went to the doctor and we have to do laps and tr imagine trying to get a little kid with Down syndrome into do laps and not only that but give her a shot oh she's terrified like she already knows She's like, I need labs, and I'm like, I took her to the lab after her appointment, and she just was crying, and I was like, dude, you're going to be okay. So I just need answers. I, I need to figure out a way to get food into her. I need to figure out a way to get time to get food into her. My life is so chaotic and hectic and, you know, being a working mom is really, really hard. And in California, we do not have a choice. We are probably one of the most expensive states. And there's no, if you can survive with one income, I don't know how you do it. You must have like some sort of like VA assistance, uh, IHSS, something, because I sure as hell can't make it on my own. Um, and that's just another thing, you know, my husband and I are just, God bless him, I love him, but, you know, we are not doing so well in our lives, and it's, it's not conducive to trying to, you know, anyway, I, I don't want to get too much into that, I don't want to drag him through the mud, um, he's a good guy, but we, we're definitely experiencing some marital woes I'm not gonna lie so there's that so I am going to just for the sake of argument I'm even gonna take a little bit of I love this brush though this is that teardrop brush whatever from it is the color love makeup teardrop cover brush 
And I'm going to take this, just running it over the edge of that, just to kind of make sure it's blended. And then I have my e.l.f. Um, uh, putty blush brush, but I'm not going to use one of my putty putty Petty blush brushes. I'm going to use a Merit blush. I used this yesterday. I tried to film yesterday and I messed up with my eyeshadow and then I abandoned the video. Um, and this is one of the Merit blushes. This is the rosy one that I have. And it's just stunning. So I don't even know the shade. Um, I can't read it. <laughs> but anyway. So just take, but I want to get another one of these for, for, for the blush as well. These Merit blushes are just divine. Um, I love my e.l.f. blush sticks. I really, really do. But I, these are creamier than that, so they're easier to blend. So there's that. So anyway, so pray for Delilah, you guys. Um... She's going to be okay. I know she's going to be okay. She's the most resilient person in the world. I swear. I mean, there's nobody more resilient than Delilah. Let's do a little bit more. Down in the... A lot of people are like, don't apply your blush so low. I never follow the rules. So, if this is like, oh no, I don't like the way you do that. Then just click through. <laughs> don't know what to tell you, okay? So I love these Merit blushes. I highly recommend them. The Merit um, blush balmy things, these little ones that come in the little, I think they come in a larger packaging, like a slimmer packaging, but Merit just in general, it's the only product I have from them. I am obsessed. Um, but I, now that my no buy is over, I am planning to do a haul um and the haul i'm going to do is probably going to be the first one is going to be either from i don't know it's going to be from probably makeup academy they have some cream blushes i want to try and a cream bronzer i want to try and i'm obviously obsessed with the cream products i really really like them so um i have a lot of things i want to try and i want to um just tell you right now that blush has stolen like eyeshadow thunder like big time that doesn't mean i don't still want eyeshadow palettes i'm going to do a wishlist video but um definitely definitely love me some eyes some blush blush right now is like everything to me so we're going to do the ofra highlighter palette um i i know uh, i don't even know what's going on with ofra there's some big controversy um but i have it i'm using it i'm not getting rid of it sorry not sorry i'm going to use pillow talk which is the pink right there um so whatever, if somebody wants to enlighten me on why Ofra is no, a no-go for some people, please feel free in the comment section. Um, I, I've got so much going on. I don't know every little thing that's going on in the world. I should, but I don't. So anyway, um, life is crazy, guys. Um, you know, uh, raising a special need uh, a kid with special needs it's not for the fan of heart just let me tell you that right now and it can cause a lot of stress and strain so there's that okay um i'm gonna do my brows off camera and then we're gonna continue with the eyeshadow but that is the face makeup so far okay so um we're gonna change topics here in just a second what was like oh i know what i'm gonna talk about next but yeah let me just do my brows and we will come right back okay hang tight okay so the uh, brows are done i am switching over to my little elf mirror so i can um kind of have more head long looking into the camera we're gonna start with um the cat girl chronicles i do not know i think these are this was a series it's no longer available so sorry i can't link it but I found this at, at uh, TJ Maxx, and I just love the color story. Not 100% re representative of the saturation level on the back, but I still really, really like it. And this is what it looks like. So this is what we're going to be working with. I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go for a really pretty rosy look um, with um, some lavender, maybe. Um, 
but I'm gonna just stick to these shades right here and maybe blend it out a little bit with this orange and then add some of the lavender. That's what I'm gonna do. So, um, yeah, so let's change the subject from Delilah and my, um, my relationship woes, which I, I really don't, I don't really feel like I can, I can elaborate on in this video, but um, there's definitely some, um, some, um, you know, it, it just things are not going well here at home. So I'm working on trying to figure out lots of things. <laughs> so, um, but let's change course. So we're gonna start with the palette. I'm gonna use my Flat Clover Collection brush, which I love to use. I'm gonna use it on the rosy, this rosy shade down here. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of a bricky shade, which as I love those kinds of shades on me. Um, it's definitely my kind of color. Um, I love this color story. So, yeah, so we're going to do that. And we're going to use that on this Clover Collection brush. Okay, I, I'm watching a show. Now, I do not watch a lot of TV. Oh, love. Okay, look at that. And like I said recently, I am going deep in the outer corner, but I am taking it maybe a, like a little bit lighter than I normally do. And in this palette, I, I'm definitely going to do that. I don't want to use that black with the shimmer. So I'm going to be using this. Um, I'm going to be using this. This shade is my deepest shade. Guys, I'm watching. I briefly got Hulu for a, for a very temporary time. Um, and I'm watching The Handmaid's Tale. Has anybody seen this show? I do not want to give it away. I will give you guys the premise of the show um, to save you from spoilers, but it is the most disturbing yet riveting show I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, it stars Elizabeth Moss from Mad Men as the protagonist, and she is definitely an anti-hero. I'm in season five. I'm in the last season that is available on Hulu right now, um, and it is a dystopian nightmare, totalitarian, totalitarian regime, futuristic view of what fanatical, literal, biblical interpretation would look like, like from an Old Testament perspective, without Jesus, without forgiveness, without life with sin. Like, it's just where men are in charge of everything and women have no say and women can't read, they lose limbs, <laughs> eyes. It's, it's part of me fucking crazy. And it is the most riveting show. I don't even know why I like it so much, but anyway, so this is the outer corner with that bricky shade that we're working with. I am going to take my little um, Lexi pointed crease brush and I'm going to dip it into the orangish shade up here. I'm going to dip it into that orangish shade up here and I'm going to blend that edge out with this. Okay, so this show, guys, I, I, I love all the characters even though some of them are total like crazy people. Like the whole show is freaking nuts. I love that. Look at that. These mattes are pigmented and they're blending out nicely. I, I really like Rude Cosmetics. I think that um, I'm losing a bit of that um, brick shade, so I'm going to have to really lay it down and maybe take in a small crease brush. Um, let's see. Take in another small crease brush from my Clover and really re-add that to the crease. There we go. I'm getting it back, but I'm blending it out with that orange and I'm not mad at, at the blend. I think it's really, really good. I just, just lost some of that pigmentation from that original shade. So sometimes you just have to do that with uh, eyeshadows. You just want to make sure that they do blend nicely, but you don't want to like lose the essence of the shadow that you placed before. And if you do, then you can re-add. And I'm already, I can already see they're not dusting away. They're pigmented. So there's that, so it, there's no problem there. But I do think that I need to reintroduce 
that Bricky shade. I'm taking that two thirds of the way in to my crease, not all the way, because I might add, um, no, I'm gonna take it all the way in. So let's take it all the way into the inner portion of the crease, that orange shade. It's really pretty. It's coming across less orange and more peach on the eye, which is fine, which I appreciate. I do like that orange tone though. So I wouldn't mind if it had a little more yellow in it, but it works for this look. So the show, you guys, I, I so without giving too much away, um, basically America as we know it, and this is so ironic because I look at the way things are going in this country right now, the way things were with the pandemic, and where you had to do this and that and the other thing and you felt like you didn't feel any freedom. This is, this is that on steroids, this show. So another, just introducing more of the brick. I don't even know the color names of these show, shadows, but that's okay. Um, it's almost, it's, it's, it's a religious fanaticism to the point, okay, so basically the whole premise of this 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 show is that the birth rate is dropping and the birth rate is dropping and there's, I guess it's, it's like, say they've taken the global warming agenda and they've amplified it 10, 10 million times more to radioactive pollution and it's affecting the birth rate, the birth rate is dropping all over the world. And so these men create this system or this society where they are going to take the women that are fertile and can produce children and supplement them for the women that can't. And they're called commanders. And the commanders have wives and the wives can't bear children because they're infertile. But you have the fertile women and basically the commanders and the wives own a woman they call a handmaid. And they basically rape this woman once a month or one or one to three times a month when she's ovulating to hope in the hopes that they're gonna have kids. It's, it's part of me. I'm not monetized yet. It's okay. It's it's fucking disgusting. But it is just the perseverance of the main character in the show and she is now I'm in season 5. She's uh, I'm I'm I got to do a li um uh glitter primer. She's unhinged. She's uh she's done some things at this point in the show um where and I can't, I can't, I can't give it away, but it's Elizabeth Moss. And if you don't know who she is, she was in Mad Men. Um, she played a Don Draper secretary. She's phenomenal. And she's just a be extremely expressive, like, she's such a great actress. My favorite actress in the whole show is a bad guy. Um, and that is the lady that plays Aunt Lydia. I love that lady. I don't love her character, but she is such a good actress that you, that there's just part of you that's like, not, I'm never on Aunt Lydia's side because she's despicable, but she's such a good actress. Everybody in this show is amazing. Uh, Joseph Fiennes plays Commander Waterford. Elizabeth Moss is off, is, is and th this is the funny thing. The women in this that are considered handmaids. The women that are basically like the concubines that are owned by these commanders and their wives to have their children. They are not, they're not going by their given names. They take the name of their commander. So Fred Waterford is played by Joseph Fiennes and his name is Fred Waterford. His wife's name is Serena Joy. Oh my God, underrated actress. Yvonne Strahovski from Chuck. I've never seen that show, but I want to watch it now because of her. And I know Zachary Levi's in that show and I love him too. 
they are monsters. And Fred Waterford and Serena Joy Waterford, Elizabeth Moss is their handmaid, and his name is Fred, and they call her Offred. So it's the handmaid's name is given to them by their commander. So they were referred to as property by their commander. I am of Fred. I am of Warren. I am of Daniel. I am of Stephen. So it's whatever their commander's name is, is their name, only it's I'm of this man. It's so disturbing, yet so compelling, and it's such a nightmare that you hope will never become a reality. And it just goes to show you how, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm talking a lot, but I'm letting this primer sit. Hi, are you gonna come say hello? I'm talking about you in this video. Come say you hi. Me? Hi, yeah. this is Dee, everybody, Delilah. That's, this is my mother, mom. This is your mother, mom? <laughs> You're so cute. This is my mother. I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna finish filming, okay? Yeah, it's the first thing I have to Make sure you put your makeup on <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to our channels on Instagram. Okay. And text us in a comment and subscribe to our channel. Okay. Thanks, ma'am. And thank you. Subscribe to her channel. Thanks. Subscribe. Okay, go. <laughs> so, anyway, um, let's do lid shades. Um, so, we're going to go back into the palette. I am going to take the shade over here on the center portion of my lid. And I'm just going to use my other flat Clover Collection brush, which is more of a synthetic brush, not natural hair. And I'm going to dip into that. Oh, beautifully picking up on brush, very soft shimmers. Nice that, I love that. Not crumbly though, which is great. Um, but I can tell that I'm gonna have some nice, easy application with this, because it picked up really nicely on a brush. So there's that. So let's put that in the center of the lid. Oh, look, that's so pretty. Blends so nicely into that bricky shade. I love that. That's a gorgeous shimmer. Really, really pretty, guys. I, 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 I really like this palette so far. I think it's great. Glad I picked it up. Glad my no buys over. I'm, I'm ready for some new things. Um, so it, it just is absolutely terrifying, this show. <laughs> Um, but believe me, um, these handmaids, so there's the handmaids and they're the women that are like the concubines and then you have the, the female, um, like the cooks and the housemaids and they're called Marthas. And then when, okay, so Elizabeth Moss character is named June. June has a daughter and she's married to Luke, but... Luke divorced his wife to marry June. So June's considered an adulterer. So she ends up having to be a handmaid because of that and because she's had a child. So she's fertile and she can bear children. So that's why they make her a handmaid. But they literally hunt them down and they kidnap their children and they give their children to other families in what is now called Gilead. I forgot to tell you, this new country that is what is, what is America now will be referred to as Gilead. And Canada actually becomes the land of the free and the home of the brave. It is so, guys, I'm telling you, this show is something else. And I really have enjoyed it. And um, I have to finish it because we're losing, I'm losing my Hulu in like, in like two days. So I have a three-day weekend, so I am working on that. I'm going to finish that. Take the other side of that brush. I am going to actually dip it into this green shade right here. And I'm going to just take that green so pretty um and i'm going to do the green i thought i was going to do the lavender but i really want to do the green i want to pick up some green and just do it on the inner portion of my lid i'm on the other side of that flat brush um so are you guys watching anything interesting right now <laughs> let me know because i um i'm really enjoying this show and I can't wait to finish it, but I don't want to finish it and I want to move on to something else. I really love this. This is so pretty. This, this shimmer is not picking up as easily um, as that rosy, but it's really pretty. And I, you know what? I mean, it is green going over red rose, um, but I, I don't think that it looks bad. So pretty. Look at that. So pretty. 
It's a really pretty minty shade. So, um, yeah, so it's The Handmaid's Tale. And every actor and actress in this show is phenomenal. And I really, if you guys have seen it, I want to know what you think. I would love to be able to talk to somebody about this. If you want to message me on Instagram or you want to... I'm Amy Keenan McFall on Facebook. If you want to find me on Facebook and message me there, please feel free. Because I, I, I like being able to talk about the things that I'm watching or interested in. My husband doesn't watch the show. None of my coworkers have watched the show. My girlfriend that does watch this show is in Japan right now. And like, I have no one to talk to about it. So I love and, I, and I'm ashamed of how much I love the show because it is just utterly disturbing. Okay. So just to add a little bit of the rose just to bring back a little bit more. Okay, so I am going to add, let's add a lower lash line shade, guys. I am just going to basically take, a, I'm going to go into the, that rosy shade. I don't want to do anything. You guys would not believe that the, I am the look that I created the other day. I was so alarmed by how like crazy it was. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Um, it's it was too much. It was too much. So I washed it off and I didn't film. And I felt bad, but at the same time, I'm like, nah. I can't because I had used a palette and I put too much dark shadow on the inner portion of my eye and I looked like a crazy person and I'm not that brave and I was just like nah I'm not gonna do it so we're filming this so let me just I don't like using my finger but I am just to, just to blend this out I'm using my finger that green Okay, so I'm just gonna add some wing liner, mascara, and a lip, and I will be back with the final look. Okay, so hang tight. Okay guys, I don't do these videos very often, but I just had a lot to say and I wanted to talk, and I thought since I bought some new things, and I really like this palette, I think it's great. Um, I will say it's pigmented. I think that sometimes shadows can blend too well, almost to the point where they will blend away. So you have to make sure that this is a palette that where with the mattes, you blend and then you add back what you need and make sure you blend that deeper shade into that lighter shade. At least that was my case with this palette. I really have enjoyed this so far. I really liked doing the pop of green. This comes off much more mint and sheer than it does uh, turquoise in the palette, which I really, really appreciate. And I, I actually thought it looks really, really pretty with the rosy shades in here, but there are a lot of options in here. I really, really enjoy this. And I think it's very versatile, and I'm super excited to play with this more. Um, but I don't know how many TJ Maxx hauls I'm gonna do. I just do know that going forward, even though my no buy is now over, I'm not going to, excuse you, she tooted. I'm not going to be spending tons of money on makeup. There are a lot of things that I wanna buy, but I just gotta be very judicious with what I spend right now. Inflation is really wreaking havoc on all of our lives, and I was on a no buy for all of this time for a reason, and I just wanna to continue to be very, very cautious about what I spend my money on, but I do wanna get some new things. I'm ready for some new things to enter my collection, um, and I'm ready to just um, film content for you guys and I do have some creative quirky content that I like to film coming up but for now I just thought I'd do this get ready with me with you guys sit down talk to you guys about what I've been up to let you know how Delilah's doing let you know how I'm doing let you know what I've been into and um, I have so much more to say <laughs> but I just don't have enough time and you guys don't have enough time to sit through like a two-hour video but I'm always here for you guys. You can feel free to message me on Instagram. Love to talk with you outside of YouTube. Um, I consider you all friends and very, very um, dear to me in my life. So if I can ever help you and be there for you like you are for me, then I would love for that to be the case. So 
please be sure to contact me. Um, I love to receive cards. I love to connect with you guys in any way, shape, and form. I've just been super busy. Sorry I don't respond to comments right away, but please know that I see you and I love you. Borja, finger hearts, I purple you. You guys are awesome and amazing. Give yourself a big hug and know that I love you so, so very much and I'm so grateful for every single one of you and um, I could not keep doing this without your support and love and it means the world to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do be sure to like and subscribe if you did and I will be filming more content this week. Hopefully we're gonna have like four to five videos next week. So um, take care guys and I will talk to you soon. Okay, ta-ta for now. Bye.